I pulled a gun out in the club. Okay. When I okay. heard the shot. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then I ran toward the door looking for my mom. So, so they I saw think that, that yeah. I think that witnesses told him he had a gun. And he was, was running. You know, Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. It led to, it culminated in the night of February 20, um, 2000. I was actually arrested on the 21st, but everything happened on February the 20th. It was um, a party that I went to that my mom gave. It was, it was an event that she gave to to uh, showcase some artists from that area that we um, threw the party in. And I had just came from off uh, a tour. I went to it. I was my job was to come make an appearance, to draw the crowd, sign some autographs, and uh, roll out. Much of my family was there with me at this place. My dad, my mom, aunts, uncles, cousins. It was a gang of us in this place. And uh, somewhere after midnight, a fight broke out between one of my cousins and some people. Uh, and some guy in the club. Well, this fight resulted in the shooting death of one of these young men. And I left the place and went home. Went home not knowing if someone was even shot because I would later learn that someone, someone was actually shot and subsequently died. I would later learn that when the police arrived at my my, uh, my house. So you left before the altercation or you no, left No, I left during, during the during altercation. The during the yeah. altercation. Because I heard a gunshot. <clears throat> but okay. I didn't look to see if somebody was shot. Oh, okay. You see gotcha. what I'm saying? Gotcha. I just heard a gunshot, rolled out. And um, I didn't know if, I didn't know who was shooting or if in fact I was the target of the shooter. Of course. I didn't know. So I, my, my main concern was my mother. So I, I went towards the front door looking for moms because uh, she was collecting the admission fee. And she wasn't there. I would learn about 10 seconds later, she was in my truck okay. waiting on me. Wait she hadn't you. left. Wow. <laughs> so we left and um, we headed home. When I got home, the guy who was at my house babysitting my two youngest siblings had told me that the detectives, uh, the St. Tammany detectives had called and wanted to question me about a shooting. It was at that Dang, moment. that's quick. It was at that moment. But we're talking about 45 minutes okay. from where the place was to my house. And uh, that was at that moment that I learned that there was an actual shooting Shoot. and that somebody and was somebody shot. Had died. No, I, they hadn't died yet. Okay. So I had learned that there was a shooting. So by the time I was taken to the interrogation room, which was about a couple hours later, um, during the interrogation, the detective got somebody walked in the room and whispered something in his ear. And it was after that. He told me that this is no longer uh, an assault investigation. It's a murder. Wow. And so I was like, man, because the whole time I was in the, the interrogation room, my thought was like, man, I hope this person live. Yeah, of course. Because if they live, they're going to be able to tell them who shot them. Shot them, that's right. And um, when they didn't, man, I just, I was like, I, I, I knew it was, that it was like, I knew that this, it, Everything pointed towards me. This just looked funny. But it's yeah. crazy because you know. when you're at a place where you have so many people around, you would think that everybody. there's a lot of eyewitnesses. Everybody right. can say who did and what. There were, and, so. and there were. Um, any witness that, that basically made any statements in my favor were um, silenced, pressured, wow. threatened. Um, and every, uh, every anybody who... Anybody who said anything that remotely sounded like there was a possibility of me, all of a sudden became 100% sure it was me. And you, you know? think that you were targeted because you were a public figure? Initially, no. No, initially I think that, well, let me say this. I'm an optimist, right? So I like to believe that people... Um, I like to think that most people are doing what are doing or their initial approach is what they think is right. Yeah. Right. So I felt that initially they thought they were going to investigate the right person because I pulled a gun out in the club. Okay. When I oh, heard okay. the shot. 
Okay. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then I ran toward the door looking for my mom. So, so they I, think that, that, yeah. I think that witnesses told him he had a gun. And he was, was running. You know, so I think that when they came to get me, they thought they was arresting the right person. Mm-hmm. But somewhere in between the interrogation room and the, um, so at some point during the interrogation, I believe that they realized they had the wrong person. Wow. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.